Hi, seniors. Um, this is Miss Lane. I'm not going to be in class today. I, I'm not feeling well, and no, I don't have a virus. I just have some allergies and hives, so I don't want anyone to to be worried. But I want to talk just really quickly about looking at a political cartoon. So in second period, I did some instruction live with this. So we're going to take a look at the cartoon you can see on your screen. Remember, this does not reflect my political opinions. This is us looking at strategies that the political cartoonist has used to express a message. So in most cartoons, you have hyperbole, which is an over-exaggeration. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to notice where you notice things, right? It's that simple. So you might notice that this person is charging five cents to get advice on the coronavirus. And we have Dr. Fauci here, and it says the doctor is out of favor. And over here with President Trump, it says the doctor is in. Over here, we see nobody in the line. So he, he says, just look at all the people lined up to see me. And we can clearly see that the line is not for him. So what is that? Not wearing a mask, wearing a mask. So is that irony? Is the strategy irony to create logos? Is it irony to create pathos? Is it irony to create um, whatever you think? And then you are evaluating, was that effective? Is it effective to use hyperbole about the hair or does it annoy people that there is a constant making fun of appearances? That's up to you, right? So it is about what that strategy is, how it contributes to the purpose, and then your opinion on if it is an effective strategy or not in communicating the message. It is not whether or not you agree, it's you deciding whether or not it is an effective strategy for the reader. You can even designate this would be effective for this kind of reader, but not for this kind of reader. So you can contextualize who you think it is good for and who it is not. So I just wanted to give you some tips on what to look for in, a, in the political cartoon. This is not an option for you. So look at your slideshow. Next week, we will have three days of some catch up um, if you're behind or you'll have some time to apply for some scholarships if you are caught up. So just keep that in mind if you're starting to feel overwhelmed and stressed that we'll have a three day breather next week. I will be back tomorrow. So I will see you guys all tomorrow in Zoom class. Have a good day. Bye.